Experts predict that London's population will grow to 11.3 million by 2025. But as land has become increasingly expensive, private homeowners and businesses have actively started to build underground. In the past decade, over 2,000 new basements have sprung up in the city centre alone. These projects acquire a special magnitude in the hands of large teams of engineers. What do you think to the underground Lou Gardens? It was created using artificial plants and recycled waste from the banks of the Thames. Nevertheless, the garden smells and even sounds because its creators have gone to great lengths. Situated 50 meters below in the revamped Tideway sewer system, Lou Garden serves as a testament to the system's environmental benefits. Once Tideway is complete and operational, real plants will grace the Thames banks. Back in London, we discovered another intriguing project beneath the city alongside the Tideway Super Tunnel. We're talking about Growing Underground, the world's first underground urban farm. Despite its location nearly in the heart of London, the creators didn't need to excavate massive trenches. This farm occupies a former World War II air raid shelter, where radishes, arugula, celery and other useful produce are cultivated year-round. Yields surpass those of a typical farm by 24%, and the 528 square meters of space generate an impressive 60 tons of produce annually. Maruchador residents have a reason to applaud their local authorities. This Australian city became the first in the country to adopt an underground automated waste collection system. Now, waste zooms out of the city centre through pipes at speeds of up to 70 km per hour, covering a distance of 6.5 km to reach a dedicated station. Reviews indicate the system covers an area of 53 hectares, with plans to connect new buildings by 2024. The full completion of the system is expected by 2041. Have you heard about the Hyperloop system? It's Elon Musk's project for a vacuum transportation system. While it's still a long way from widespread use, SpaceX organizes competitions for the development of the coolest transport pod. There's a lot to check out. For instance, in 2019, the Germans from Turm Hyperloop won the competition with a pod that reached the speed of 463 km per hour. Tum Hyperloop was also the first to carry passengers on a Hyperloop ride in Europe. In 2018, another German company, War Hyperloop, secured victory with a pod that accelerated to 457 km per hour. The Invisifence security system is another popular choice, suitable for various facilities. From farms to prisons, alerting the owners when an intruder enters the territory. Invisifence comprises an underground cable with sensors and a concentrator. The cable is hidden, making it undetectable. Digging and jumping won't help, as the system detects such activities. However, if the system spots birds and animals under 30 kilograms, it won't trigger the alarm. Customers can easily adjust the sensitivity and other parameters of the system. Meanwhile, the creators of the Saystone system promise deadly accuracy. It detects human footsteps from up to 300 meters away and tracks vehicles within a 1 kilometer range. 
The sensors operate autonomously for up to three months, and the smart system promptly displays not only the coordinates, but also the direction of movement of intruders. These rain and wastewater collection and storage systems can be discreetly concealed underground. While not as potent as Triton SWS solutions, they have their own advantages. The Pipe Life 5000 tank, for instance, is ideal for shallow installation, standing at only 0.9 meters in height. Meanwhile, NDS tanks can be linked together to expand the system and accommodate increased loads. Directly watering the roots of plants with these subsurface irrigation systems can cut water consumption by up to 70%, according to the manufacturer. Say goodbye to issues with wind and leaves getting burned because of water droplets. Additionally, saving water leads to another perk. The roots of many plants may rot in overwatered soil, making them more susceptible to various diseases. In 2020, scientists reported 13,654 earthquakes of magnitude 4 or higher worldwide. Therefore, creating earthquake-resistant foundations is a crucial task for many countries. Take Japan, for instance. They use special dampers to absorb most of the seismic energy and insulate buildings from the ground with layers of lead, steel and rubber. This results in minimal horizontal movement during shaking. In many cases, it's safer for the residents to stay inside buildings during earthquakes than to run out into the street. In the United States, efforts are also underway to develop earthquake-resistant buildings. Simpson's strong tie, for example, simulated a series of earthquakes up to a magnitude of 7.5. They constructed a 2,137 square meter high-rise building to test the reliability of their system during the tremors. Specialists use Hydra-U to assess landslide risks and inspect underground mining sites. This radar is compact enough to fit in three suitcases and easy to deploy even by one person. The radar is equipped with advanced ArcSAR technology, which updates data every 30 seconds and makes adjustments based on humidity, temperature and other factors. The obtained data is draped on a 3D model enabling quick and easy analysis of the situation. Meanwhile, the Tilt Ranger drone proves handy for exploring mines, tunnels and similar locations. It not only flies, but also moves on the ground. What's impressive is its working speed. For instance, in just 10 minutes, a Tilt Ranger drone mapped a detailed area of 30,000 cubic meters. Pionan White Mountain, once a nuclear shelter, is now home to a data center. At a depth of 30 meters, there's ample space for all the required equipment, spanning over 1,100 square meters. Staff can enjoy artificial waterfalls and a greenhouse on their breaks. 
In case of emergencies, there's a unique warning system in place, crafted from parts of a German submarine. Despite its complete refurbishment, Pion and White Mountain can still withstand even a hydrogen bomb explosion. This remarkable data center is located in Stockholm. Triton SWS produces water regulation, storage, and filtration systems. These systems follow a Lego-like assembly principle, with each arch featuring slots to secure the next one. Triton SWS uses eco-friendly soy-based resins for the arches. Despite the system's unconventional nature, the company claims it can last up to 120 years. It's versatile, allowing two- or three-tier installation, and suitable for placing under driveways or parking lots. The arches can handle loads of up to 21.8 tons. Additionally, the system can be sealed with geogrid and geotextile. Warmly Yours considers itself the leader in radiant heating systems, installing them not just in homes, but also outdoors. You have two choices. Use mats or cables to shield asphalt and concrete from snow and ice. Mats are easier to install, but if the road or pavement is winding, cables are more suitable. However, it comes at a significant cost, averaging $105 per square meter of heated road. On the other hand, you can manage the system through Wi-Fi and set it to turn on automatically during bad weather. Yet, not all projects are that simple. Often, teams of engineers, builders, and specialists must begin from the ground up, and that's where Dame Fina Cooper steps in. Named after the New Zealand activist and Maori rights advocate, this tunnel boring machine is colossal. 130 meters long and 7.15 meters in diameter. Fully assembled, it wouldn't even fit on a football field. Its size is matched by its capabilities. Dame Fina Cooper drills tunnels at a rate of 32 meters a day, and it costs $13.5 million. Now let's check out some technologies that have become widespread, starting with the British company TLS, which assists car owners in parking discreetly to avoid inconveniencing pedestrians and attracting thieves. The process is simple. TLS experts install a lift. The standard model can ascend up to 18 meters, enabling the driver to stay at the wheel when there's an underground garage or parking space. Additionally, you can walk or even drive on the roof of the lift. These subwoofers will wrap up our selection on a pleasant note. They're part of a landscape speaker system that allows you to enhance events in parks and squares with various sounds in a spectacular way. They also deliver a fantastic sound experience in a personal garden. Similar to regular subwoofers, these landscape subwoofers handle low frequencies. For instance, the Burial Subwoofer Series models impress with frequencies ranging from 28 to 125 Hz, and the speaker size varies from 20 to 30 centimeters. 